Hello, this is Susan with the Noonan Carnegie Library, and I'm here today to teach you how to use YouTube. Now, today we're going to be learning how to use YouTube from a user perspective, not a creator perspective. We'll do a little video later on on how to do it from a creator perspective. So today I'm going to show you how to use YouTube on the iPad. You can use YouTube online, on a website, on a desktop, on a tablet, on an iPhone, pretty much anywhere you can use the internet, you can access YouTube. But today we're gonna to learn how to do it on a iPad. YouTube is such a great way to watch content that you're interested in. You can watch crafting videos, knitting videos, all sorts of different things. You can watch trailers and you can even watch TV. Now YouTube TV is a separate thing that we won't be talking about today, but I did just want to let you know that is available for additional fees. So today we're going to talk about how to use the different functions of YouTube. Now, like I said, I'm doing it from my iPad, so it will look a little different based on if you're on a computer or on another device, but most of the functions still work mostly the same. So let's get started. Okay, first we're going to start out in the YouTube app, and this is the home page that you get to as soon as you open the app. So this is where all the videos will be of people you have subscribed to, of videos that they think you might be interested in based on what you've watched before. So that's where all of that is on the home page. And you can see I'm going by what's at the very bottom of the page. If you look at the very bottom, these are the different functions we're gonna go through. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click on a video and as you can see this ad comes up. You can, at the bottom right, choose skip ad if you don't wanna watch the ad. And then the video is gonna come up and you're gonna be able to watch the video so going back to the home page, we're going to go down to the bottom and where you see the next tab is going to be the explore tab. So we're going to click on the explore tab and it's going to take us to things like trending, gaming, movie shows. These are different categories that you can go to if you're interested in any of these. If you click on them, it will bring up all the videos. So that's there for you if you um, don't have videos you specifically want to see. So next we're going to go to the subscription tab and this is going to be all of the channels that you have subscribed to. So if you haven't subscribed to any yet, you won't see them here. But if you scroll on down, you'll see the first video of each channel that you've subscribed to. And then you'll see the channels you subscribe to on the left hand side. I definitely suggest you make an account in YouTube so you can keep up with all of these things. So that might be the first thing you want to do. Now let's move over to the library tab and there's several different things that are under there that are interesting and that you might want to check out. The first one is the history tab. You can see all the history that you've done, everything you've ever watched while you've been on YouTube. So that will be there. You can scroll down and see everything that you've ever watched. So maybe you have a video that you watched and you want to go back and watch it. That's where you would find it. You can just keep scrolling down until you find that specific video. And then next is your videos. This will be something we talk about later when we talk about how to be a creator. That's where all the videos you've uploaded to YouTube will be. And then your movies and shows will be if you have a subscription to YouTube and you've purchased anything, that's where these will be. You can do that. We won't really talk about that today, but that's where they will be if you need to locate them. And then watch later is a great little function of YouTube. While you're on a video, you can click one button and it'll put it here so you can watch it later and you'll never lose anything if you don't have time to watch it when you first see it. And then down here you'll see playlists and those will be something we'll also talk about when we talk about creators. That's where all the playlists that we as the Carnegie have set up. So we'll talk about that in our next video about how to be a creator. So those are the different functions, the home, explore, subscriptions, and library buttons. And the plus button that you see at the bottom of the page, that is something we'll be talking about when we talk about how to be a creator because that's how you upload a video. Now let's go in and see what it is like to be on a specific place that we have subscribed to. This is the City of Noonan page and you can see all the videos that they've uploaded are here on the channel and there's several different things you can do. This is coming at it from the subscription screen. Now if you want to view the whole channel, because right here these are just pretty much all the videos, you can actually view the whole channel by clicking view channel that's right under the name and it'll take you to the channel and you'll see that this is really nice. This is more of the YouTube home of the different people you subscribe to. So usually there's a real nice banner photo. You'll see all the information about being subscribed, how many subscribers, and then down here there'll be a video, whatever the channel has chosen to highlight. 
And then you can scroll on down and you'll see all the different videos that the channel has uploaded. If you go up to the top, you'll see there's lots of different categories. You can see all the videos that they have uploaded. And this just gives you a straight list of videos. If any playlists have been set up, you'll see the playlists. And that is something the channel will generate. And then you can see additional channels if some channels have channels within the channels. That would be there. This specific one doesn't. And then you can go over to About, and that kind of has more information about websites, social media, and places you can go off YouTube to find out more about this specific channel. So that just gives you an idea of what each channel looks like. So let's go in and see what an actual video looks like. I'm going to choose this um, teaser trailer for a new uh, Pixar movie. So this is what a video actually looks like. So we're going to go over a couple of these options. So if you look down below the video, you'll see information like the name of the video, how many people have watched it, and then below that there's several different actions you can take. You can give it a thumbs up if you like it, you can give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. You can even do a live chat which will allow you to chat with people who are watching the video at the same time. And then there is a share button. If you click on that share button, it'll bring up several different options. Now the options will be different based on what device you're on, whether you're on a computer or a tablet, but this is the iPad. You can copy link, tweet it, email it, send it out via message. So those are several different options if you want to share that video with someone who you think would enjoy it. You can also download some videos. For this one, it looks like you can only do it if you have a YouTube premium account, which is a paid account. But there are some videos that will allow you to download it. Um, probably not a Pixar channel, but that's always an option. You can always try it. And then here's that save button that I told you about. You can click that save button so you can go back and watch it later. So those are um, several different options. You can also comment on videos if you scroll down. We always suggest you don't read the comment section of YouTube because they're usually not very nice. So those are some different options for how to use a YouTube video. I did want to point out one more thing. If you click on this um, square at the top with the little wireless coming out of it, you will have a chance to cast your YouTube channel to your TV. Now you usually have to have a smart TV or an Apple TV or something like that that you can connect to, but that is an option. Once again, it will change based on what device you're on. If you're on a, a cell phone or a tablet, um, you will have to check out your owner's manual or maybe even YouTube it to find out how to do it. But it is a nice option to be able to watch YouTube on your TV. It's just a little larger than it would be on a phone or tablet. Also, um, the button next to the TV casting button is a little bell, and that would be if you had videos uploaded as a creator, you can go there to find your notifications. So once again, we'll talk about that more when we get to the creator thing. The next one would be the magnifying glass, and that's how you can search for things on YouTube. So right now, we're going to search for craft videos and we'll see what comes up. So as you can see, it brings up channels. It also brings up different videos, so you can see and just click on them and watch them and you can find things that you're interested in. And you can even get more specific and put a specific craft in there and that's how you can find some videos. So that's a really important tab to know how to use. So that's pretty much how to use YouTube as a user. I hope that you have learned some great tips and tricks from this video. If you do have any additional questions, feel free to ask it in the comments below. Send us an email. YouTube is really a great way to watch free videos about all sorts of different things that you're interested in. So thanks for joining us today and join us again soon. We will have that creator video out for you and we look forward to showing you how to use YouTube as a creator. We hope you enjoyed this video today and join us again soon. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel.